Hello everybody, welcome to Breaking Remake. I'm your host, Joan. Today we're gonna make this pouches out of our food wraps that are not as sticky as we'd like them to be. What? So there's two different styles. There's an envelope style and just a regular like DIY choose your own adventure style. I just folded mine super simple, but you can fold yours any way you would like to. You can fold it in a triangle and get fancy. I've got it all folded up. I am going to just stitch up these sides by hand because I'm afraid for my life to put this underneath the sewing machine. <laughs> Let's thread our needle. If you need hand sewing help, just ask in the comments below. I have, I did a hand sewing video like a long time ago, but um, I can always redo one. Now that I've got my needle threaded with my heavy duty thread, I'm going to sew up these sides. Just a simple little stitch. I could do a running stitch or a whip stitch. It's just, it's up to, it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm just going to do a running stitch because then I can go faster. If you find this difficult, wear a thimble and then we'll just get stitching. Stab it in here using the my thimbles kind of nice and I'm just gonna do a simple running stitch pretty close together so my snacks don't fall out it's when you're trying to go fast and like the thread is like punking me I took one itty bitty stitch I'm gonna go ahead and slide under that hold everything wrap my needle twice and, ow push the needle through <laughs> it's so pointy and that gives me a nice knot. I'm gonna do it again just for added security and we are done with this side. There, the side seams are done on my little pocket. I'm gonna do a button closure with a tie to wrap around to keep the, to keep the lid down. First, I'm gonna get my twine. I'm just using the baker's twine that you can get in a huge roll. With this folded, how long to wrap around? Oh, this looks like it's going to be enough. And then I'm going to wrap it around the button. Okay, so this is about 12 inches. I'm going to tack this down and then attach the button over the top of it. I am going to make a knot on each side so it doesn't unravel on me. Here and a knot here. And one of these knots will go underneath the button. I'm just going to put it about in the center and then stitch through it a couple times and then put my button over the top of it. I'm just going to tack this a few times and anchor it down. Now that this is all sewn down onto the flap, I'm going to put the button right over the top of it. And then I can wrap this and then hook this on. It's not in the center. I didn't measure. I'm going to put a thread shank on this button. If you need help figuring out what a thread shank is, um, let me know. I'll find you a tutorial or I'll make one. Um, but it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna sew this button on and we'll be done. When you stitch a shank on a button, you don't wanna pull the button all the way down to the fabric. I usually hold it up to one side. Remember not to stitch it all the way. And we'll do this one. And then we'll do the other side and then we'll shank it. And instead of going through the fabric, we're just gonna go to the underside of the button and wrap thread around the bottom of the button just to give it a nice, I like to do one loose and then I'm gonna put my thumb on it to hold it in place and then I can do one loose and then pull it tight. And that pops the button off of the fabric. And then let's tie a knot in this one. This one is officially done. It folds down like a fancy envelope. You can wrap it around and then wrap it here. G -g -g here to keep it shut while you tote it around. This next one is as easy as falling out of bed. You pick a corner, you fold it in, you're gonna pop your twine on here first, about the same 12 inches, um, pop your twine on, pop your button on, and then you have a corner to wrap and fold and all that kind of a jazz. Fold this edge in, and I'm gonna stitch it right here. People ask me how how much thread they should get on their needle. It's like you can't, like this is the most you should ever put on your needle because that's how long your arms are. I'm just sewing this button on the same kind of way. There, now you can fold this up any old way. Your stuff inside your wrap will be safe and secure. Ha cha 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 cha, boop. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more sustainable DIYs. We'll see you next time. Bye. It won't slide because my fingers are sticky.